Hey guys, happy Monday. And today I am going to do your weekly energy outlook. Um, I took the last um, few days for a little self care. I did a chemical peel. You can see that my skin is like glowing. So I'm letting um, everything breathe right now. I'm breathing, um, but I still wanted to get the energy outlook for the week. Um, a few things going on astrologically that we need to be aware of, um, especially with all of the tension this week, is that we have... Um, the sun in Scorpio and Mercury is also still retrograde. So that has people speaking out in ways that I think that they are going to regret later um, because the Scorpio, I have a Scorpio rising, so I know this personally. Um, Scorpio can be like, <sighs> um, and then later you're like, shit, I should have like used some of my more muted energy for that. I maybe should have spoken out about that, whatever, whatever. So Anyways, that's just something to be cautious of. The full moon also was um, just in Taurus, and um, the full moon was in Taurus, but it was conjunct um, Uranus. And basically, Uranus is like the planet of like lightning bolts and things happening sort of out of nowhere. Um, Taurus is a very grounded, earthy, prosperity energy. So I joked on my Instagram that um, it was like the two were colliding and it's like, are we just going to have like eccentric abundance? So it's really time to step into like the true nature of your soul and, um, and be okay with it. Like allow that. Like we're going into that time now where um, it just is what it is. It's time to be ourselves. So um, I'm going to do the weekly reading like I typically do. Uh, I'm also within myself learning to allow imperfection. And um, so I'm on here today with no makeup. I'm still in my pajamas, fresh peel on my skin. But I just, you know, I did start working a few weeks ago, which I had said, oh, I'm not going to get a real job. I'm just going to do like my spiritual stuff. However, you have to be open to God, spirit, universe, like coming into your life and um, showing you where this light is like making me crazy, um, showing you where they want you to be. So um, the most perfect situation ended up opening up for me. It is a place where I can do all of my beauty stuff, but I can also do all of my spiritual stuff. So it was just sort of a perfect alignment. So I had to be open to that and allow that. Um, so I also want to remind you guys not to let your ego get in your way as far as um, things lining up for you that are maybe the best, but come about differently in a way that you did not expect them to come about. So for those of you who follow my weekly readings, um, we always start with my star seeds. So group one, star seeds. Group two, soul truth. So group number two. And then group three, angel therapy. So we're going to start with the star, star seeds and see what message that um, comes about for you this week. Again, a reminder that the energy, you know, could be really heavy this week. So I just want to encourage everyone to watch your amount of time that you're on mainstream media and really um, focus on self-care. Taurus is uh, ruled by Venus. So Venus is all about the beauty, all about the self-care, all about the taking care of oneself. So um, just remember to do more of that and less of uh getting obsessed on facebook and seeing people fighting <laughs> so let's see what the star seeds have to say this week highest um good and for the benefit of all okay so lost lands for my star seeds Soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. So most everyone who chooses group one, who chooses the starseed um, group, is a very evolved, very, very highly advanced soul. I consider myself to be a starseed. I resonate with that heavily. And um, I am 
always well so i live in st pete florida so we have a place called sacred lands we also have a lot of ley lines and um powerpoints um specifically of uh, the tokoboggan indians um energy so i am always called to those areas i love to explore them they're beautiful the energy is so amazing so um Lost Lands and Starseed is asking you to come back to the spirit of yourself. Remember who you are and that you have done this before. And that this is not your first rodeo and you actually came here to get it right this time. So really step into that bravery, really step into like the path of like who you truly are. And don't be afraid. Um, remember Uranus is... Uh, sitting on top of the moon right now in Taurus, Uranus is weird. Like Uranus likes things that are different. Uranus likes cosmic energies. So don't be afraid to be yourself and just to allow that weird flag to fly in the world. We're really at a great time for that. And it's a really good time to disconnect with the quote unquote real world and connect to thyself because thyself is going to get you through all of the crazy shit nobody else is going to. Like thyself can only save thyself. Um, so and then um, activated earth, which is the power lines and the ley lines and trust where you're led. So they're wanting you to get out and explore and be in nature. And uh, look, the dog's back here. Like, I just threw up my cell phone. I'm like, let's just do this. Um, <laughs> activated earth asks you to get out in nature. I did an Instagram post last night. Like, get out in nature. Take care of you. Get out in the beauty of the universe. Stay off of your TVs and off of your social medias as much as you can this week and focus on thyself that is going to be your uh, savior and save you because nobody else is going to. Um, trust where you're led. So they're telling me that some of you are going to be given messages when you go to like these PowerPoint places and it could just be the beach. It could be the mountains. It could be, um, I did a past life regression a few weeks ago where I was actually told that the reason why I chose my family or shown, I should say the reason why I chose my family was not because of like the human part of them was because of the geography of the land because I grew up in North Carolina where I could dig up crystals and everything in my yard so trust where you're led to spend lots of time out in nature uh let me see if there you're a you are a caterpillar transforming especially into a butterfly right now with my star seeds you have been so lost again like myself um most of your life and felt like you don't belong. Well, now is the time for us, the cosmic warriors, the galactic beings, those of us who came multidimensional. Now is the time for us. And, you know, we're really going to thrive in this new energy and this new earth because all of the old fucking paradigms are like falling away and none of them are going to even be relevant anymore. Give it a few years. So there's not even any sense in getting caught up in it. Know what I'm saying? So let's get a theme card for that. Deep cellular healing. A lot of us are, are also healing ancestral wounds and um, I always can feel my ancestors standing right back here, uh, pushing me to be the one to go forward, pushing me to be the one brave enough to stand up in the family, pushing me to be the one that just won't settle. Like I'm not willing to take like no for an answer. I'm going to create exactly what I want and I'm going to show everyone and I'm going to show other humans that it can be done. Like my husband, my entire family, we all believe in that. We're raising our little boy like in the same way. Like don't settle, like believe in yourself enough to create what you want because we are so powerful, but we're not typically shown our power and given that information and those materials like when we're little so get in touch with meditation get in touch with an astrologer get in touch with a mentor like find ways to connect with yourself in this way and um you will experience deep cellular healing that will then propel you into the path of thyself so that was really good so let's go to soul's journey Group number two. So, group number two. Um, 
so oh you know are these the ones that i normally use no they're actually not so i have two soul soul decks but we're gonna use soul journey today not soul truth because i accidentally grabbed that one and i guess that is the one we are supposed to use i was gonna do um i read for another group but i was gonna do that one after this so i guess that this is what we're supposed to do here is read from the soul's journey not the soul truth you guys need to hear that this week Yes, my cup says black girl magic because even though I am Caucasian on the outside, I am a black girl on the inside. Always have been. It's like I resonate with that like African like priestess energy. I felt very much that way when I was in labor with my little boy. Okay, group number two. Just random information. Okay, so these cards are really different than the other ones that I read that I read from. Um, so the first card that's coming up in this deck is grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So this could be a job, this could be a relationship, um, this could be the old self. Like they, there's some grieving over losing the old self because sometimes we get comfortable in our own little toxic, like whatevers. And, um, and we have to let go of a lot of that conditioning in order to grow and to evolve. And that can be hard. So I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. What came with this? Oh, uh, service. I feel good when I help others. So in order to get past like that grieving period of whatever it is that you've lost, be it a relationship, be it a part of yourself, be it, you know, someone to sickness or illness, like focus on service to get past that. Um, because we always feel better by helping others. When I started my spiritual journey about, 12 years ago, uh, I had like no money. I had like a dollar in my pocket. So I would have to eat at like the dollar Wendy's, like, you know, drive through. And I would, you know, start implementing some of these things. So every time I would go through the drive through, I would try to make whoever I dealt with, you know, at the, at the window, make them feel good. So I would try to find a way to compliment them. I would try to find a way to talk to them, um, you know, to uplift their day because they don't exactly have like the easiest job. Um, so always remember that when you're dealing with grief and you're dealing with, um, could you please be quiet? That's what happens when I just do random videos. Um, would you please shh, uh, and don't like set up anything properly. But again, like for me, I have a huge addiction to perfection and being perfect. And I'm just really trying to let go of that and be authentic and like come as I am. And, you know, sometimes things are not perfect when you step into that space. So that's what I'm working on healing because I'm a recovering perfectionist. So remember when you're healing from grief and when you're transitioning into new things, the easiest way to transition is to focus on serving others and like what is your gifts to humanity? What is your gifts to the world? Um, and go there. So let's get a theme on the soul's journey. Mm. I release the need to know all answers, doubt. So we all doubt ourselves from time to time. I doubt myself. Like I doubted whether I should get on here because I've never done a video, you know, with, you know, in my pajamas, no makeup, didn't even brush my hair. Like just, I woke up like this. So I release the need to know all answers. So I know that the right people are going to see this video and I'm not going to worry about whether or not it's perfect or not because I'm not perfect and I don't even want to project onto the world that I am. So your theme and like letting go, like in, you know, allowing the grief and in rising up in, ser in service is to not doubt yourself and to know that you're fully capable and to know that you're 
you know, you are a gift to the universe and you have so many beautiful gifts to give to humans. Like we all came here like to be of service and to share our like humanly gifts with others. So don't doubt yourself and just jump. Like one little action step can create this whole like domino effect where like your entire world changes and your entire world shifts. So um, I hope that was helpful for my soul's journey people. Again, that's a little different. These are from James Van Prague. I really, I like this deck too. Um, we normally read from the soul truth, but, um, and allow the grief. Like I just cried the other night in the bed. I was like going to sleep and I just felt like this, um, this wave of like emotion come over me, just grief. And again, I'm doing a lot, a lot of ancestral healing and I'm doing a lot of like work with others. Um, and there, like I said, there was just this wave of grief and I just started boohooing and then I kind of got it out and then I leaned over and I kissed my baby. And then I was like, okay, like that was what it was. Like, I'm not perfect. Some days I mess up and it's okay to be human and you can still be human and help others um okay and last um a group number three my angel deck people angel therapy so let's see what they have to say for you this week as always for the highest power and the um, most good for everyone involved. Oh, there it is again. Okay. So this is where so many of us, are, oh my God, why am I a hot mess? Uh, so many of us are dealing with past life, um, stuff right now. Like I kept talking about in the other two readings, ancestral issues, um, the situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experiences. So my angels and my star seeds had very similar readings this week where you came here to be like a highly evolved soul and a highly evolved human. And they can that can sometimes be hard in this earthly realm although it is going to get easier because the world is changing um we're going into the aquarian age coming in december so things for those of us that are like weird is going to get like easier and easier um however there's something here that's holding you back and not allowing you it's like an un diagnosed fear like uh, so like why am I afraid of like a car wreck or why am I afraid of speaking in front of people or why am I afraid to you know let my kid eat in the room alone because I'm scared he's gonna choke or like whatever these like straight whatever the strange like fear that you may have that you're like I have no reason to be like that like why am I like that oftentimes it's a past life uh, memory encoded into our DNA that we are being asked to heal. I did a past life video. I will, could, I'll like link it below. I did a past life regression on myself a few weeks ago because I was guided to do it, guided to do it, guided to do it, could not find a practitioner here locally. And so I was like, well, I know Dr. Brian Weiss is like the expert in, you know, past life. He actually had a 36 minute long video where he guides you through your entire process. And let me tell you, I got so much information information off of that past life um, regression that I did with him on YouTube that I was able to have like a really difficult conversation with like my mother who we've always had a very troubled relationship. I was um, I also was able to understand some things about my husband and also understand some things about myself as to why I felt so I feel so called to speak you know, to people. I have a stellium in um, my third house of communications. Um, but the past life regression really opened some things up for me and allowed me to have some really difficult conversations with people that had been needing to be had so that I could heal and step forward. And that was literally all it took was I just needed that healing to step forward and to, um, you know, to go into the next step of integration for my human soul. Um, the next card resonates heavily with me. Uh, 
this is the indigo child card. So the person you're inquiring about is an indigo, meaning a highly sensitive natural born leader. I heard about the term indigo child, which we're now all adults, probably about 11 years ago, maybe beginning of my spiritual journey, it was with an angel card reader and she pulled that exact card for me when I sat down and she was like, oh, you know, you're an indigo child. And I'm like, what does that mean? And she's like, oh, well, highly sensitive, highly psychic, highly intuitive, um, here to change the world and shift the world. And I was like, what? And she was like, do a Google search on it, research it. There's documentaries on indigo children. Um, you can take indigo child, indigo adult tests. Another way to like get to know yourself and to understand like your tics and what makes you triggered versus what makes you healed. Um, indigos have had a hard time. Um, actually, we started out having a hard time. A lot of us had like difficult births and then that led to difficult childhoods and then that has led to difficult adulthoods. Let's not get it twisted. Um, so but, however, a healed indigo has the ability to shift the world and shift worlds around them. So I really dug deep into that about 10, 11 years ago. And that was kind of like my first life-changing thing for those of you that are new to the spiritual path, which some of you may be who are on my channel, because I always feel like that I am like the bridge between like the normies because I'm a pro wrestler, I'm a model, I'm a, a medical esthetician and consultant. Um, I'm kind of the, the bridge between the normies and like the extreme woo woo spiritual like so I'm kind of like that person that can like bridge the two so I will attract lots of um newer people to spirituality to my channel because I come across quote unquote normal even though what is that like normal is like it's not even a real thing because none of us we're all weird um it's best that you um embrace your weirdness so do a little search on indigos um and that will probably answer a lot of questions about yourself i think that i will do an indigo child video in the future maybe even later this week if i have time because it's real important to know things like that about yourself because you're like oh that's why i saw ghosts when i was a kid oh that's why spirits bothered me you know or i feel them right Right behind my right shoulder I hear them talking in my ear these are all things that happen to me and um oh also another really important thing for indigos is you always really need to shield yourself and protect yourself so I always imagine myself in a white bubble of protective light and I zip it up and I'm like okay nobody no negative shit can get in here today like I cannot be bothered also like uh black onyx or black obsidian pendants which are really good um I have an Amazon uh list down below of like Amazon must-haves things that I like to use in my spiritual practice I also have an organ pyramid from this is like oh just to hold it mm. this was handmade by uh a lady that I met that is like kind of close by to here but she uh hand makes this with I think it's copper onyx and then there's quartz points like actually like inside yeah pretty amazing um and she was like when I met her she was like yeah I know it's expensive but like you know it just takes a lot of time to make I'm like this is worth every penny I'm like don't ever down talk yourself like that so okay so research your indigo adults and indigo children my angel people and um maybe do that past life regression with Dr. Brian Weiss it was very powerful for me uh some of you are going to be ready for that some of you are not going to be ready so if you get into it and you're like I don't want to face this uh come out and go back later like it's no you know no big deal so let's get a theme for you Vacuum away fear. Call upon Archangel Michael and Raphael to lift fear-based energy from you, your surroundings, the situation, and everyone involved. We're in a really fearful time right now, just on a worldwide collective. So I talked about earlier, like, get off your social medias this week, get out of the TV situations, like, get out of the Facebooks, like, really really get out into nature and disconnect as much as you can the next couple of weeks like of course you like probably are going to want to like stay somewhat you know know what's going on but don't feel like you have to stay like 
attached to your phones and stuff all the time. It's actually very like not good for us. Um, so you can call in Archangel Michael is my preference when I'm feeling very fearful because he comes and he cuts away your fear cords with um, his big ass sword. So uh, vacuum away fear. So we have to get so fear is fine. Like fear is actually good because it gives us a little adrenaline. Uh, but you want to like push past that fear when you know you're called to something because the I'm very called to like hospice work. And like, so I have conversations with people about hospice and get their experience on like what it was like to be bedside and whatever. Um, people's biggest uh, things that they say on their deathbeds that they wish they would have done this or they wish they would have done that. And you don't want to get caught into a situation like that because fear held you back. I had an 85, uh, 84 year old patient this week who came in for a facial and, um, she had broke her hip this year, but she was now fully healed and she was about to get back on the ice again. And when I say get back on the ice, I mean an 85 year old lady ice skating in here in Florida of all places. Um, but she was like, you know, I'm very fearful, but I know I have to get back out. And I was like, yes, sister. I was like, yes, you are like my kind of woman, like an 85 year old woman. Just, she lost her husband last year. She's a widower. So like an 85 year old woman pushing past her fear and getting back on the ice and going ice skating. She was like on a team and shit. Like, come on now. Like if somebody who's that age, who's like, you know, could have gotten so stuck in her ways, can push past her fear after breaking her hip and being down and out as an 85 year old person for that long. And now she's like, yeah, I'm about to get back on the ice. Like, come on, me and you can do it. Like, I was like, you are so inspiring. Like I aspire to be you the older I get. So vacuum away fear, ask Archangel Michael to assist in that. And then just think about like how you would feel on your deathbed. Like if some shit were to go down, like how would you feel? Like, oh shit, I die tomorrow, like, and then I didn't do what I wanted to do. It would be a sucky feeling, let me tell you. So, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, it was my first one, all natural, laying in my jammies. Um, not gonna be the best editing. I just really don't edit that much anyways, because it's not my thing. Like, I don't like it, so I just kind of put up the videos, like, as is, and um, then at least the message is out. <sighs> It's been a long road for me with this because I've always wanted to do YouTube, but I was so attached to perfection for so long that I didn't do it because I was like, oh, I know I'm not going to edit. I know I'm not going to whatever. Um, about a few months ago, I just decided that I would just do the videos and I would show up every week and I would leave it up to God's spirit universe as to how that manifested later. And then it was just my job to get this, the message out, um, whether it be a day late or whatever. Uh, it's still because I'm a day late today, but I'm like, who cares? Like the message is still out. It's only Monday. We have our entire week ahead of us. Um, so I do do individual readings. Um, right now I have a promo going on where you can get an hour with me and I do energy healing as well as soul coaching and um, card readings and intuitive readings, but I merge the three together. I think that energy healing is very, very important to incorporate into all of this because I can move stuff out in your DNA. Um, so I have a promo for that going on right now, 111 for the hour. I do work remotely and over the phone if you are looking for that. So I will see you guys next week. I'll leave all the information for the past life and for the Amazon, like black onyxes and stuff that we talked about earlier. Oh, and the, pyra the uh, Oregon pyramid. I'll leave that down below. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. Um, remember to disconnect from all the shit, get out in nature and um, connect to thyself because thyself is going to be the hero of thyself. See you guys next week.